to the show. Now, there's one particular subject that I think all my viewers know that I would probably never have discussed on TV because I know that they laugh about these things. And the one was the gym. And you guys saw what we did at the gym recently. That didn't go off too well, uh, according to some people. <laughs> but uh, cricket is the other thing. So I know my friends are all probably laughing now, saying that I'm going to be discussing cricket. And guess what? I am going to discuss cricket because you guys thought I cannot. Let me show you something. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Dick Davids is here. And you're going to talk to me about what you're doing in the cricket world. I know that you started something new in the last couple of months that's really and uh, that's going off well yes. but uh, Sadiq Davids and cricket yes. let's start there yes um, shukran for having me on the show uh, Faisal um, I'm, I'm happy to be here um, I've started recently with a uh, cricket coaching clinic uh, it started about four or five months ago um, I always wanted to do this um, you know to give but it didn't really start there I didn't really start there. The, the cricket and you started back in the day somewhere yes hundred percent I mean I started playing cricket at the age of six um, and six, six years old um, and um, it was it's got nothing to do with uh, the scoring when you score six kind of no no not <laughs> not at all it's just the age six you know started to pick up a cricket bat and then from there you know, you know things were just going great um, I played provincial cricket throughout my career and I played for Western Province uh, uh, first class cricket so I've got fear but of you know uh, um, some 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 experience, experience yes that's correct in, in cricket and um and and that's what i want to do at the end of the day to give back to the to the community and to the to the youngsters out there and i have started now this uh, cricket uh, clinic uh, it's called not out private coaching and um, that is what we want to do we want to give back to the community um, i want to see at the end of the day that the youngsters you know enjoy what they do um, and it's all you know for the love of the game mm -hmm. Let's first put the issue into perspective in my understanding. So I think that it's a very noble thing that you're doing on various levels. But there's a particular area that I would like to discuss first. And that is the lack of services or facility um, in certain communities. And then I also want to talk about uh, the fact that we see a scourge of drugs happening. Uh, youth are getting derailed because uh, there are socioeconomic problems. And with that, uh, the, and the lack of facilities, yes. uh, they tend to focus their attention on different things. Then another area that I want to focus on is uh, we find many, many sportsmen today sitting in their lounges yes. playing the sport. Yes. Does that make them sportsmen? That, that we'll talk about. Yes. So, but let's start with the socioeconomic problems and let's talk about what do you see happening in the community today? And I'm going to hold no punches back by saying this, but a Previous communities that were privileged by the apartheid regime yeah. had certain facilities for their children. So you'd go into all these very leafy areas and you'd see that facilities are there, kids are being taken one day swimming, the next day cricket and the next day soccer, yeah. and that's part of their development. Yes. I don't have a problem that they had that. Yes. But on the flip side of the fence, we find communities that are, were underprivileged at the time, and that inheritance of that underprivileged aspect still runs deep today yes. those communities still live in those same areas and those areas don't have facilities and they don't have coaches yes. and and I know in the pre-briefing you spoke about the fact that certain schools that we yeah. called back in the day Model C schools and of the likes had certain facilities and those facilities would be upper end facilities but those upper end facilities were given to children whose parents earned a certain amount of money and came from a certain racial group. And I'm not, I'm not going to go into the politics of it. Let's leave that. But on the other side of the spectrum, again, you have kids that don't have those facilities in the school also. So it's not in the school. It's not in the uh, after-hours uh, environment. And with that, we find all of these other things happening. Yes. Can you reflect on those aspects for a moment first so that we can set the tone as to why you're doing what you do. 100%. Look, um, that's exactly what you're saying there, Faisal. Um, there is, you know, some children would have that privilege and luxury when they do go to these fantastic schools. They've got that at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, playing uh, cricket or have the luxury of have the extra coaching. And, and that is why also, Faisal, at the end of the day, we have started this uh, Not Out Private Coaching, is to say to the community that, look, 
we are there to assist the youngsters. You know, um, if, if you remember about 15, 20 years ago, if you used to drive down the suburbs, you'd see the youngsters would play, you know, that type of sport um, at the end of the day. They would play cricket, they would play rugby. You don't see that anymore. Um, nowadays, the youngsters... And, the, and that was in the road too? That, mm. do you with, with the bricks in the road. There you go with the bricks, with the, with the, with the uh, dustbins, and <laughs> that, that's correct. <laughs> and that is actually where we actually learned our, ta you know, our, our, our technique and, 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 and where the talent came from because we never had that opportunity to go and have you know private uh, coaching or, or that luxury so that is actually where we have learned our our, our skill and and i'm telling you know to the uh, saying to the parents at the end of the day we are here to assist that because we don't see that anymore uh, uh, in the community nowadays you have the youngsters got the iphones the ipads and they would you know label themselves as no i can't play this sport i can play i have an interest in soccer and i've got an interest in cricket. But can you actually physically play the sport? That's a different thing. It's a, a different mental aspect of, of, of the game itself. So I'm telling, I'm urging the parents and the youngsters out there to say that, come on board, we are here to assist you guys in, in the sport of cricket today. Um, and that is what we're doing. You know, at, 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 at the end of the day, it's for the youngsters out there that is an amateur cricketer. So that comes to me and say, look, uh, coach, I would like you know, to play this game. I love this game. I'm watching this game but I'm not good at it um, you know take me through the basics we are there to assist that uh, s a specific youngster and then we're there as to assist the youngster that's got the talent that plays provincial crickets that that's invited to these trials and 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 obviously to upskill um, that youngster's technique and that talent so that that youngster can play one day for for the Bertiers if it's him or she um, and, and that's what we're doing that's the message at the end of the day that I'd like to bring across to the viewers um, we are there to assist um, and and you know, you don't have to, you know, attend these uh, 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 fancy schools at the end of the day, um, just because of sport. Um, uh, we found that, you know, in the market out there, that there is a gap, and that is the gap. So, so we want to assist the youngsters at the end of the day to come and experience, uh, uh, um, you know, physically playing the game, and not saying that you are a cricketer, you are playing Xbox. Great. Yeah. So, I think that it runs a bit. Um a bit deep at some points from the point of view that uh, if you look at the development of young people yeah. and we look at the development of um, young men and, and women today and how we have started withdrawing we become more social but we are withdrawing socially yes. just think about this we become more social but yes. we're withdrawing socially yes. so in effect we are social in terms of keyboard warriors yeah and typing and talking about every last thing and telling the world what we do yeah. on mobile devices and that sort of thing. Yes. But when it comes to real social interaction and the development around that, we actually withdrawn. Yes. We have retreated in that yes. way. Then with that, in my understanding and my assumption, is that youth today are retreating physically. Mm. So do we not see that that will have an impact on their development as human beings from a physical perspective? 100% yes, you're right. Um, and that is why we have also started this campaign, um, is to tell the youngster that, look, it's all good and well to play Xbox and, and, and play or, or to get involved uh, so socially uh, on, on, on the media side, um, doing the, the, the iPad thing. But it's very important to understand if you want to participate in a sport, for example, cricket, which is a a, 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 a team sport you have to physically come and join a specific club or not at private coaching and 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 that obviously you know uh, uh, um, helps you with the mental aspects of your development um, it can help you with your school development as well I just got a couple of weeks ago a, a, a parent actually you know posted on my page to say that she is overwhelmed of to see the difference in her son um, and and the son was just there for about five six lessons and and she saw the difference because of you know the son used to be an introvert you know uh, the son used to not talk a lot not engage into you know social uh, uh, development in, in, in sport and she saw a difference because that is what we do at Not Out Private Coaching as well. We make sure that we cover all aspects of the game and also help with, 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 with life coaching. Um, 
and, and she was, you know, uh, 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 very happy at the way things were going because she could see the difference. She could see the confidence in, in, in her son. And, and, and that is what makes us keep going at the end of the day. Type, um, that type of feedback is to, make, is, is to let us know that, look, this is helping. Um, to let you know, Faisal, on, on what we do is a bit different towards the other uh, coaching uh, uh, um, that is out there. Um, there is other coaching, uh, private coaches, but we are a bit different, we are a bit unique. You know, we do 90% of those, which is one and ones So we physically, you know, will, will, will stand there and help the, the youngster for an hour and a, and a half uh, session. So we would talk about the mental aspects of the game. We would talk about the physical part of the game. And we would talk about the skill and the technique. And that is all the things that we incorporate within an hour and a half. And, and, and this is, you know, sometimes what they do at, 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 at the big name schools as well. But what I'm saying is we are here now in the community to do that. Um, again, uh, I'm referring back to saying it's for the amateur youngster that starts uh, uh, picking up the cricket bat or it's for, uh, for, for the youngster that plays provincial cricket as, as well. It's just you need to know how to balance it. You as a coach, you need to make sure uh, uh, um, you on their level so that they understand and at the end of the day after that hour and a half they actually enjoyed it which is the most important thing mm. I, I want to slightly unpack this aspect about being a coach itself uh, do you not find that uh, being the coach I'm not sure but uh, do you not find that that they come to you for cricket lessons itself and to be able to deal with cricket aspects uh, but do you not find that youth today might reflect and deflect other things into the coach uh, in terms of, for example, uh, other social issues that they might be experiencing mm. that they now become more comfortable talking to you about and you end up coaching them on other areas of their life too. That's correct. Does this happen? It happens. Um, again, we, 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 are, we are now just you know, running about four to five months with this uh, cricket coaching. And yes, Faisal, uh, we, we have come across where youngsters would come to me and say, look, um, um, the reason maybe why I wasn't here the previous week is because you know, I, 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 there was no transport. Or um, they come from the flats and they were shooting outside, you know. And, and, and these are the things and areas that we um, are dealing with on a daily basis, you know. And, and, and we are trying to tell the youngster, they look with all these things happening, happening around this youngster, we need to make sure that we are motivating this youngster at the end of the day and say, look, this can actually become a career. Did you actually thought about that? You know, so we are there to motivate, to drive to let that passion be there on a daily basis because it's so easy to get influence as that youngster would just step out of his door at home and get influenced by the wrong things um, you know get 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 scout out with the wrong friends and that is what we're here for we we try to you know tell the community that look it doesn't matter where you come from right your background if it's in the cape flats or if you come from the southern or northern suburbs um, that cricket is at the end of the day it can save the youngster you know it, it, it's there it's a sport it can become a career you can actually change your life and that is what we're promoting at not our private coaching let's look at the withdrawal of of youth out of the physical space into the online space yes. and uh, just early on in my office I opened up uh, one of my books for you and showed you yeah. that um, we have a problem and that um, the frontal cortex of the brain seems to be undergoing some strain through internet gaming for long yes. durations so we see now physical manifestation and changes in the brain itself through online games and the extended play yes. that's it, that's what we say how that damages the way that your cognition down the line or how that affects your emotions down the line is another matter but I'm assuming that there would be some some kickback uh, through that but reflecting on that and looking at this entire shift in dynamics now that we have with youth moving away from the real field moving on to the online field and playing the games there and sort of dealing with everyone else around the world through through the headphones and that sort of thing. What's your thoughts about that? What's the, the balance with this? Because we said it earlier on in the show, mm. uh, we have become sportsmen 
but in the virtual world, yes. online sportsmen, it's not going to help you much physically. Yes, no, 100%. It's not going to help you much mentally either. Yeah. It might help you with you having the top score, you know, okay. online, online yeah, yes. and, and which is a very big thing. You're playing against the rest of the world and you might be the, the champion there. But you 100% critic, Faisal. It's, it's, it's a one-way thinking. And, and we are trying to let the youngster, you know, to understand how it works. You know, sometimes you, you would sit, even if you, uh, it, 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 it can happen to anyone, because we are so, you know, uh, um, used to this type of thing, this lifestyle, where you'd come from work or even at work. You would sit and you would probably sit probably for half of the day just on your phone. And sometimes you'd, you, you'd, you'd, you'd think, but, you know, my fingers is not working anymore. You can't even hold a glass of water. And that is because you're sitting on the phone all day. And you know, 20 years back, that was never the case. You saw the youngsters running up and down, you know, their physique was different. Now you see the youngsters got that, you know, that belly or that type of thing is because you're in-house, you, you, you are associated with, you know, these online things. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Look, it's good. Do you think there's a balance with this? That's the key word there, Faisal. Um, you have to have a balance. But we don't, we don't have the balance. We don't have the balance. Of the, of the guys that's surrounding me, and I know they're probably watching the show and saying that we fought about this over the weekend, and yeah. it comes out again. Yes. But, uh, <laughs> but the point is that I'm of a firm belief that there is no balance. There is no balance. Because if we can spend three to four hours a day doing that, yeah. um, I think that we have a problem. Yes. We, uh, we, we fly to whichever countries we fly to, and even when I fly locally, I'm still concerned because we say that we're going to sit on the aircraft for, for two hours and yes. recently I was abroad and we sat for eight and ten hours at a time on flights and you're concerned and you have this whole technique I need to get up and I need to walk yes. around and do all kinds of things but when I look at it some of my friends sit on these things from nine o'clock in the morning on a Saturday morning till nine o'clock at night must be honest with you you're almost in New York <laughs> and so the, the, the point is yes. that but there's they no problem online. with that. Yes, yes exactly. you have these guys that yeah. if you look at them and, and you can even see it on social media, that this couple of guys, they're always online. And it's not a healthy thing. You know, uh, I'm sure I saw you had a, 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 a program with Professor T uh, Tim Noakes. Yes. You know, and, and, and it's got to deal uh, do with the, the physical part and the mental part at the end of the day. And yes, I would say, Faisal, you would have to have a balance. And, 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 and that is, I would love, you know, the children, especially this, this goes out to the children and to the parents that get involved into sport which is a, a fantastic thing. You know, it, it can assist you with mental side of the, of, of, of the part of, 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 of your brain, and it can assist you with the physical part, you know, and, and that is what we're promoting. We want the youngster out there. We want the youngster to understand that you have to have a balance. It's, it, it's key. Um, we talk about at Not Our Private Coaching, and our slogan is consistency is key. And that is the important part. You know, you, you have to, 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 to find the balance Balance. and you have to practice because pract perfect practice makes perfect you can't just practice and and after hour and a half you would think okay what I'm gonna chat about you know with my, my, my social friend online you, you, you have to be you know uh, hundred percent committed to that and I would say the key there Faisal is you have to have a balance it's good to be online and 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 to chat with friends and to say that um, you know I, I'm checking in here and there I don't see a problem with that, but if you would have that that, that balance, um, in doing about two three uh, uh, hours of the day, do some some activity, that's that's good because that is what we want at the end of the day for for that youngster. I think there's another component that's missing here, yes. and I think that uh, and that's the parents. I think the yes. parents need to take the cue, and the cue is to get your son and daughter up and say. Here's the balance, and this is what you're going to do. You're going to be able to spend so much time on your computer, playing games, and so much time on social media, yes. but you are now enrolled with your organization to spend some time there to do some physical movements. Yes, because, because definitely we're picking up an increase in weight. 
Yes. Right. Um, people are becoming lethargic. I'm concerned about one thing, and that is uh, this new generation is going through um, a very sedentary life yes. where they're sitting and doing absolutely nothing. So what will their physical condition not be down the line when they become 50 and 60? Um, I think that they will be busy creating a very strange body, um, somebody that they, we might not know right now yes. who that's going to be. Yes. But it definitely doesn't sound good to me. Um, uh, looking at the role of the parents. Yes. Always when I talk about parenting, people say, but you don't have children of your own, you don't know what it's like, yes. and stuff. And I think that I negate that aspect because I think that, that you don't need to be a parent to be able to know what's right and what's wrong. Yes. And you don't need to be a parent or not be a parent to be able to tell your child yeah. that you need to get up, uh, contact Zodiac, yes. and get involved and get moving. Yes. You need, they need to make that, that choice. They, need to do the they best cannot best. leave it to the child to make that choice. Yes, um, children should have certain abilities to make choices, but yeah. not all of them. Yes. We recently, in some reading I've done, and I'm not sure what some people are going to think about this, but I'm going to throw it out there in any case. There's a section of the brain called the neocortex, yeah. and they found that this only fully develops at the age of 25. What this actually means is that your decision-making process really reaches it's pinnacle yes. at 25. Not, not, not the ability, but the pinnacle in the sense of that your brain is now fully mature yeah. at 25 to make proper decisions. Yes. Anything below that yeah. is still up to debate. Yes. So, so having that in mind and, and thinking about this, we need to get parents to start making the choices for their children yeah. today. And part of those choices is to be able to get involved with organizations like yourself. Yeah. Cost and that sort of thing. Yes. I can hear them at home. Yes. What does it cost? It's 150 rand for a session, and the session is an hour and a half. Okay, and what we do there is we break it down. Um, again, I've got the youngest, uh, just to let you know, the youngest kid I've got is five years old, and I would say the eldest one's about 28, 30. Right, and they do come for different aspects of the game. So you, you as a coach, you need to know exactly, you know, pre-plan what what you're going to do. So it's 150 rand, and it's the cheapest in the Western Cape so far. Um, we're based at Chaka Road uh, at Victoria Cricket Club's field and, and, and we go based on bookings, right? Um, the clinic runs from 10 in the morning during the weekdays until 2.30. We take our last booking at 3. Um, so it ends at 4.30. And weekends, it's from 9 until 2. Thank you for joining me. Um, it's been enlightening and I think that uh, I hope people take the cue yes. to actually get out there and do something physical uh, for once. Yes. Thank you for joining me. Shukran for inviting me. I, I appreciate Thanks it. And I, I just want to, you know, put the message out there. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Sonic Davidson is trying to make a change in society by affecting the change through development in youth, through, and I'm going to say this, through physical movement. And that's getting away from your PCs, getting away from your devices, going to play some real cricket. But here's the thing, for parents, moms and dads, remember one thing, you are the first role model to your child. The same sex parent is the strongest role model for that child. So if you're a dad, they know that your son is taking the cue from you and likewise for the mom. And what this means is that it's going to mean that you need to get up there first and take your son along to get out on the road and start playing real cricket. But here's, some, here's an extra surprise for you guys. The clip that you're going to see now is uh, my attempt at playing cricket. You can tell me your thoughts on Facebook. Until next time, goodbye.